Hamutakupi. Um, again, this is Elijah Hopkins, Vice President for Student Services. Um, you know, I was thinking what would be super helpful is if students understood some free apps that are available in their student email account. Um, in the absence of maybe not having certain programs on your, your laptops or computers, um, I think you should be able to um, know what's available to you totally for free. So what I'll do is I'll share my screen. Okay, so when you log into your student email account, it'll look something like this. You know, this is my um, employee email account, but it's a similar interface. And so uh, when you get to this point, this little um, square icon in the, the top left-hand corner right next to the Outlook sign, click on that. Okay, some of you might already know this, but I think it's, it's important that um, you have an idea of what you have access to. So uh, Word is super important. A lot of your coursework, you're going to need um, a Word document. Uh, Excel, maybe not as much, PowerPoint, but these three are pretty key. Okay, definitely Word. Um, and then also OneDrive is super important because it's a, it's a way to save um, any assignments, any files um, to the cloud. Okay, you get, I'm not sure if it's unlimited storage space, but you get definitely enough for what the coursework that you're gonna be doing at the college. You can click on that, you can upload files and receive them. Um, super cool tool, um, I use it a lot. But in the absence of not say having Word um, built into your laptop or your computer, and you need to get that assignment done, you gotta send it off, it's gotta be in Word, use this program. And actually, as long as you're connected to the internet, um, you'll have access to it, okay? There is a version where if you, you can download um, the apps to your, your PC from this site, but the problem is there, it, it turns it into like Word 2007, and that might, the conversion might not work out as well, but most of the time, uh, you should be able to connect to the internet wherever you're at, at home or here on campus and just click on it. Okay, you get here and, and like any other Word document, you sit there and you can create a new one. There's some, some templates and then you can um, take it and then you save it, you know. Uh, I would assume you, you'd probably wanna save it to your, your computer um, so you have access to it. But you can also, like I said, save it to um the OneDrive student paper by John Okay. So you take this and you're like, man, I want to save this. You go over here, click save, save as. Um student paper by John Go. So you can save it to your documents folder, you can do it to the OneDrive, whatever you're comfortable doing. Okay, and these are just, this is my OneDrive file. So you, when you get up here, if I wanna put a new, um, make a new folder, you can do that. Or I can just, in this interface right here, I can upload it directly to any one of these here. So, um, or if you wanna not go to the cloud, and you just wanna have it on, somewhere on your computer, it gives you that option. Um, like I was saying earlier, right in your documents folder on your PC or computer. So um, just figured I'd share that much with you. Uh, good luck with your studies. Um, and let me know if you have any other questions. Henana uh, pekte, doktake wachia kapit.